we are heading out. Cancel na muna yung gulugod baboy. May part kasi doon na yung rough road na yung may ari ng lupa ayaw magpadaan kasi nga daw masisira yung kalsada niya. Mukhang ayaw talagang pumayag nung may ari nung kalsada. I don't know how right of way applies in this situation pero which is about 20-30 meters lang naman sana and then nasa campsite na kami. We decided to just turn around. Uh, Nag-picture na lang kami ng konti dun sa highest point na napunta namin. And then we are driving back to... We're looking for a campsite currently. Uh, I'm trying to check Camp Spotted Wood kung may available pa sila today and if tatanggap pa sila. We're also looking at Kaliraya. That's gonna be three over three hour drive from here. So... Anyway, I don't mind the drive. Kumbaga, ang sa akin lang is kung may sure na campsite. Anyway, beyond our control situation. So.
This trip to Camp Spotted Wood was not planned. Dapat sa Mount Gulugud Baboy kami. But then, turns out, yung kausap namin doon, yung may-ari nung car camping spot doon sa Gulugud Baboy, hindi lang pala dapat siya yung kausap nyo. Kasi may dadaanan na property, which is not part of his property. And yung concern naman nung may-ari nung lupa is nasisira yung daan, yung lupa pag dinadaanan ng mga sasakyan, lalo na pag maulan, tapos maputek. Upon arriving, doon sa Gulugud Baboy, inarang na agad kami. I believe that was the wife or maybe anak ng may-ari. Yun, naghihuminto lang kami and then initially yung sinabi sa amin was bawal pumasok kasi nga masisira yung daan kasi maputi. Tapos, pinapark muna kami doon sa, sa may entry yung dulo ng paved, um, paved road. Naghintay kami doon for a few minutes and then dumating si Mang Fedi yung kausap namin for the car camping ah. Pagdating niya, tinubukan niya kausapin yung kapitbahay niya, yung babae. But uh, naririnig ko parang sabi niya ayaw niya ayaw talaga nila magpadaan. Nung bumalik si Mang Fedi sa amin, sinabi namin kung pwedeng survey, lakarin natin, puntahan namin yung car camping area kasi yung car camping area is it's almost right there. Pero kailangan mo lang talagang dumaan doon sa ibang property. So basically, si Mang Fedi wala siyang right of way. Um wala siyang right of way, parang pinapadaan na lang nila by foot. So, naglakad kami and we tested the ground. Mukhang kaya naman, kaya ng kahit 4x2 kaya, hindi siya ganun kalambot yung lupa. Anyway, I think there's something more to this story, something more to their story. Pinuntahan namin, we checked out the place and then 10 to 20 meters to your right, makikita mo na agad yung steep ascent to the car camping area. Inakyat namin, umakyat kami dun sa car camping area and then I saw, maganda nga yung view, maganda yung spot and everything. Pero, it's not well maintained. Madaming mga remains ng campfires. So, medyo uh, pangit na tingnan yung, yung area. And then, yun, basura. Most importantly, wala siya ganong flat spots. So, there's one good spot yung madalas na nakikita sa mga pictures posted online. That's the best spot. And then that's basically it. The rest parang medyo slopey na siya. And personally, I don't like sleeping on uneven surfaces, lalo na pag ano, camping. So yun, after looking around, um, it was already about an hour at this point. Pagkabalik namin dun sa, sa kami nakapark, lumapit yung, I believe, may-ari na ito ng lupa. Then tinanong niya kung sino kausap namin, anong balak namin, overnight ba kami. So, ang sinabi niya was, hindi, hindi daw talaga siya magpabadaan. So, at that point, we lost hope. And then, during the course of our conversation, nag-offer siya na kung overnight kami, pwede kami mag-camp dun sa area niya. Kung saan yung mga kalabaw niya. Sabi niya, tanggalin lang daw niya yung mga kalabaw. Pero, um, okay sana. Pero, parang at that point, dun ka na naisip na, okay, there's, there's something more to this story. Maybe, that person just wants something somewhat of a share for the day nag-alok na siya eh nag-alok na doon kami mag-camp pero yung area na yun I, I 
you can camp there pero yun nga mataas yung mga gamo hindi siya na tapos hindi mo alam kung may mga cow dung pa dun sa area um, would have worked kung inayos niya and then it was set up for car camping din talaga pero nung inoffer niya yun parang dun pinaisip na baka gusto niya lang ng um, padulas para makadaan kami I don't know maybe I'm wrong maybe ayaw niya talaga magpadaan pero that was my that was the impression that I had during our uh, conversation but anyway we did not insist so after about an hour an hour and a half of staying there we decided to just take some pictures turn around made our way back we both decided my friend and I to just go home call it a day and then while we were driving along Star Toll, at that point, we were already in the car. It's so far away. Well, before that, we we reached out to Camp Spotted Wood, but it took a long reply. Uh, he called if I was in Star Toll. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I told him, okay, I'm in Star Toll. Na ako. And then um, yun nga, I'm on my way home. And when when I ended the call, I saw na nag reply lang after the call. Yun nga, yung call namin sa Star na sa Star Toll na kami. So it made me think. Uh, should I go home or should I check Camp Spotted Wood out? I have never been here. It's my first time and I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I uh, decided to push through and camp dito sa Camp Spotted Wood. It, it has that driftwood action park uh, feel to it. Lots of trees, it's quiet. My open area where I'm camped right now, this is a, an open area. I'm surrounded by trees. There are camping areas also na lilim under the tree. Uh, tent pitching areas basically ito yung car camping area yung yung saan ako naka, naka pitch and it's really nice it's really nice i'm glad i pushed through despite the traffic nung nag exit ako to lipa city i had to go from star toll exit to lipa umikot ako ng batangas pababa and then went up to laguna area it took me about two hours then from from star toll uh, but it's well worth it yun nga naisip ko i made it all the way na to mabini sa batangas why not take a detour na lang drive for a couple of hours and camp kasi naka ready na yung mga gamit i have food i could stay for another night here pero it's race day so i'm deciding to go home it's gonna be an interesting race for f1 tonight so i'm deciding to go home it's definitely a place that i'm gonna come back hopefully with my family soon yeah it's really nice here i, I highly recommend camp spotted wood it was a saturday pero two groups lang kami i believe madaming nag cancel kasi iniisip nila na pangit yung panahon siguro umaulan sa manila and then nag cancel they decided na huwag na tumuloy kasi it's, it's been raining the past week or so and I believe rain is coming. That's why I'm in this outfit. I need to break up soon. I have this uh, sleeves to protect me from the sun, scarf, para hindi masakit sa batok, and then the... So anyway, that's the long story of how this came, how this uh, camp came about. Just a quick background, basically. So I'm glad I'm here at Camp Spotted Wood. It's a highly recommended campsite. Uh, chill campsite i paid 700 500 for the car 200 for camping that's a fair deal a lot of good spots here a lot of good spots highly recommend it and then yung cr nila very clean smells very good separating shower separate separating toilet so you don't have to line up you're gonna go for the shower and then may gumagamit ng toilet or the other way around and then yung hugasan nila there are four sinks very big um parang yung sa bahay na meron kang paglalagyan ng gamit mo and then you have the sink and then it's a big table it's really nice i'll show you i'll overlay the video i'll take a video so yeah i i believe i'll, I'll end this video here thank you for helping me get to 2000 subscribers 2353 subscribers today when i checked <laughs> Thank you so much for all those who have subscribed and those who are uh, commenting or sending me messages telling me that they enjoy the video and everything. It, it really warms the heart. I truly appreciate you guys for watching, especially those who make it all the way through the end of the video. Okay, so that's it. I do ramble a lot even in the description. If you've been reading the description, I do tend to ramble a lot in the description and now I'm rambling talking to you guys here. So again, please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends if you enjoy the videos. It really helps me out a lot and please know that I do appreciate you for watching and those who like and comment on the videos. I appreciate you guys genuinely. I really, really do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I guess that's it. I'll start breaking up camp kasi mukhang uulan and we don't want to break camp na basa yung mga, mga gamit I was just actually waiting for the tarp the tent to dry up before I break camp so uh, 
So um, thank you and I uh, hope you guys uh, stay safe out there and uh, stay well.